Hi, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. I'm here to bring a layout, process layout uh, for you. Um, I'm going to be doing a scrap lift of Rachel Usher's uh, page that she did. Um, it's just a, a quite basic one, but I actually liked it because it was basic, like not basic, but you don't have to do a lot. Um, and I said still have two pictures on there. And I actually liked how she set it up. Um, so I'm going to give this a go for May I Scrap Lift You. Because that's that YouTube hop is going all month. Um, where we all play along um, and scrap lift each other. And put our version to it. Um, so I'm going to give this one a go. Um, and I will have all the other ladies' names listed down below in the description box um, if you'd like to give them all a, a, a look and see what they're up to and give them all a bit of love. Um, okay, so I've got it already set up ready to go. Uh, it's just a matter of sticking it all down. Um, now I'm also going to be doing this for uh, May the 4th be with you, force be with you, Star Wars Day, um, being the 4th of May, and my daughter is a huge, huge Star Wars fan, um, so these photos were taken Christmas of 2019, and she got a light saber, or saber, or whatever you call them, um, my daughter is a little bit different. She likes both good and evil. She loves Luke Skywalker and she also loves Darth Vader, of all people. Uh, so I'm going to put um, a bit of a dark side twist to it. So that's why I've gone with black and red. Okay, that's that one down. Um, and I do not have any Star Wars ephemera at all. Um, so I'm going with stars. Um, I tried to have a look through my my daughter's um, stickers, but I couldn't find any. Um, but what I did find was she had some stencils out of uh, one of her books that she had. I don't think it's a colour book. It's a, I don't know, etch book or something. So she had these and I thought, well, Jedi is on the good side, I think. I don't know. I'm not Star Wars orientated. So what I did is I traced around the lightsaber there and then I hand cut them out and inked them up black and red. And fussy cut them out. And I did a runny sew and made my own embellishments. So that's what she would do. If she couldn't find anything, she would make her own. So that's what I did. Now, Runny Sue Scrapper is also on YouTube. Um, she comes up with some fantastic... She's excellent in making her own embellishments. What? That lady can't do with a punch, a shape punch is just unreal. She fascinates me every time. Right, <clears throat> now, so on, on Rachel's, she's got like a border punch of the green down the side. Um, I'm going to go the red, but I've actually torn it. Um, where am I going to pop these? Let me put one side down first, and then we'll be right. Okay. Before I stick the rest of that black down, I'll have to go on a bit of a 
shop and see if I can find some. I've got lots of Star Wars things to scrapbook, so I'm going to have to find some stickers somewhere. I had a border strip um, and it's got I don't know if it's crosses or, or what they're whether it was stitches or something but they look like to me two lightsabers crossing each other so I thought I would stick that on um, go there and I'll go the black over that way so it comes over a bit and I've got some uh, metallic -y black washi tape there to give the feeling of up in space or wherever Star Wars is. So let's go that there. Might as well not waste it. Now, I'll put this one on. Where's the end? Got it started because the backing of that is so hard to get off. Oh, come away, please. Right, I'm just gonna go over the top here a bit. Give that sparkly look. Alright. I've got our other bit that goes along the back. Crystal from Pineapple Papers on YouTube, Crystal Barrett. Uh, she started this YouTube hop, May I Scrap Lift You's YouTube hop. It's also to let people know that <clears throat> we, we scrapbook, but it's not necessarily just ours. Like, people can uh, watch what we do. Think, oh yeah that page would look good with the photos that I've got um and I've said it once before if you're watching the videos and you and you like the layout by all means give people thumbs up but at the same time pause the screen and screenshot it so that you can look back on it and think now how could I change that to suit my photos or my photos would look great, but I've got different colours. It's all about sharing your, your ideas. It's not, okay, this layout is mine and mine alone. It's all about sharing. And I know there's been a, a few bits and pieces where uh, a couple of the YouTubers and Facebook people have been upset a bit with people having a go at them for using their... Um, their layouts to have a go to make it look, you know, change it to make it their own. And um, I know I and I know quite a lot of the other ladies scrapbook to share. Yeah. I I think it's all about sharing ideas because otherwise we'd all run out of ideas. So. I have no idea where I'm putting these lightsabers I made. Okay, so I'll get these bits on where I know I've got a. I'll do that on there. Got some. This label that I'm about to put on is out of the Vicky Booten Fernwood collection. Um, I just wanted the label so that I can actually write on there what it was for. Rachel actually has a, a label on hers. So let's go that. That's going to go up there. Let's go that there. I really like this layout. I, I just think it looks really good. Um, like a lot of layouts that you see are all for landscape. 
and not too many for um, portrait. I'm gonna go like that. That's how I'm gonna go. Um, I've got my letters out to use. I've got my Dimentis. I haven't lost anything. What I have here in the way of stickers. I went through my daughter's stash of stickers and I went through the Minion stickers. I was trying to find some villainous um, uh, stickers in there. So I found some of these in the, in the villainous Minions page. Um, just wondering whether I go that there. So I thought I might use those because they're villains. Let's go like that. It's going over my husband's head. I like that one there. There, and we'll go. I could use that circle and put the camera in the middle. Let's do that. That's a good idea. Don't even realise it's minions then. Let's go that there. Camera over top, then our camera will stand out. And we'll go here, tape. <clears throat> um, I just glued these together. I just moved the, the lightsaber part down to the handle. And then glued them, just glued them in there so you probably can't see. I've moved down again. I have a habit of that. So use the circle, pop the camera in, and I've just so where I've cut it out, I've inked that bit and that bit. Just in here, I've just glued that together there. And I'll get this double-sided tape off. One let's go across like that. Make sure all my lightsabers stay together. I didn't even realise it was the Star Wars day today until I heard it on the radio coming home from taking my daughter to the school. Stick some little minion things there. Stick that on there. Be very villainous. Done. So that's them on there. So don't really want too much in the way of embellishments on here. Simple reason. It's going to be a long title. Got a couple of other little things to pop on. So bear with me. I'll probably go quiet. I will pop some music on while I try and fit this all on. So let's go with that first.
Okay. I'll take you this and we'll, I think we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that for embellishments. So I don't want to go too overboard and we'll pop some, because as you can see, I have a habit of doing three clusters. Um, and with watching Shamel Lane on YouTube, um, she does them in a triangle so that you, when you do your clusters, you go and see if it makes a triangle, rough triangle. Um, so that seems to be what I do now. Um, so we'll, I'll leave it at the three clusters. I've made my embellishments, just got a few little bits and pieces. We'll just pretend that they're Star Wars and not Minions. Um, we've got our stars and we've got black and red. So let's just go finish off with some Dimentis. So we'll grab one. Okay, and there we go. There's our little things there so you can see exactly. Okay, so that's what we started off with, with Rachel's um, layout that she'd done. So she had a hexagon, she had a label, she had a camera up here with a few bits and pieces. So I've sort of kind of done an embellishment cluster up there. My uh, title is bigger and I've ripped down here instead of border punched different colors but I love this layer as a good layout that's more than one photo. I keep saying basic but it's not basic you could do anything with this you could even add uh, if you wanted to more colors down the middle you could make that three photos across you could turn it and go your photos that way portrait um, instead of the way that I've done it. Um, there's lots of different things that you could do with that one layout that Rachel's actually done. Um, and you can find Rachel's layouts. She um, posts on Dotty About Flair Facebook group. Um, so some of the people that I might do some scrap lifts of aren't necessarily on YouTube. They're on the Facebook group. So this one I know Rachel is on Dotty About Flair. If you wanted to go to the Dotty About Flair Facebook group um, to check out lots of ins inspiration over there. And this is the layout done, everyone. Um, quite proud of myself with making some embellishments to so that I've got something Star Warsy on there. Um, and um, I've got I'll have to find some more stickers so that I got many, many more uh, Star Wars photos. So uh, this is what I've come up with today. So if you enjoyed watching this video um, and liked this layout, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. If you're new to the channel and just starting to watch, if you could subscribe, that would be lovely. doesn't cost anything. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and the new subscribers that I've got. Um, I can't believe it's all happened to tell you the truth. Um, and thank you very much for watching. I will list everyone else's, um, YouTube things down below in the description box and I will see you next time. Bye.